Now, you cannot blame Timon for this, okay? Timon is a sweet boy, and he was just trying to help his good friend, Chef Will. And it all horribly backfired. I mean, what did you expect would happen, huh? You invent a cure to destroy a, a sentient, intelligent, hive mind creature, and then simultaneously go around waking up hundreds and hundreds of soldiers ready to fight them. Definitely achieved something, Timon. You've achieved them being pissed off. Now we are going to pay for our crimes. Maybe. Maybe we'll pay for our crimes. Maybe we'll decide this is far too difficult and go back to usual. Oh, who knows? I don't know. Maybe the hive mind will calm down and not be so enraged. Right now, understandably, it's pretty annoyed. Maybe Mariana was the hive mind's favorite little addition. And then we pulled her right back out into sad, sad humanity. Now she has to pay rent. Now, this comes from two separate places. Number one, the vault has always been super easy to defend, right? We could have just hidden behind the vault walls, the impenetrable vault walls, the impenetrable vault doors, and never had to fight another mushroom again if we wanted to. It's given us a whole level of safety and security compared to the city that, though, is, has been fantastic for progress and could let us pursue those different story elements. Always felt a little bit too safe. There was no... Uh, there's nothing comparable to the adrenaline rush that Chef Will felt when... The zombies smashed down their bedroom wall. The big issue we've got, of course, is our resource acquirement. Now, I'm glad we pursued building the big rig. I do, but it's it's given us, for not that much effort, an awful lot of resources. And this is with me ignoring 99% of the stuff in the real ruins, because it's a little bit much. I, I think we're too safe, and I think we've got too much stuff. And how do you solve that problem? You make the world a little bit more threatening. Like I said, if you were an intelligent hive mind and Timon was going around freeing a bunch of people to, uh, to to help fight you and Big Brain Kai invented a cure to take people away from that hive mind, you'd probably be livid. In fact, you'd probably be enraged. And that's why I've added a new mechanic to keep us on our toes. Something to reflect the hive mind being enraged. It is an incredibly intelligent planet spanning being after all. It's gonna know we're doing all sorts of fuckery over here in the vault. And that's why... Igor Invader is now in charge. Someone capable of representing all of that hatred and all of that rage focused on us. And there's an equal chance for the storyteller to flip between Cassandra Classic and Igor Invader. So the, the hive mind will enrage and it will also calm down. During those times of calm, and by calm I mean it will just go back to the way it has been the last few episodes, which has been calm but certainly not relaxed. So those are the times where we'll get the opportunity to go out there to crack open some vaults, have a look at the nutrient solution factories, all my delicious nutrient creamy situations. And then during the times that it is enraged, when Igor Invader is active, that's when we cry and we scream and we're terrified. And that's really all I want in my life. Are we prepared? Are we defended? I'm not sure, but what we do have are five very, very good fighters equipped with some decent weapons. I think maybe we should have a look at the charge weapons. I was quite quick to dismiss it yesterday because the ammo is made out of... I, I read the spacer ammo, the spacer special ammo, as the regular ammo. Turns out the regular ammo for stuff like charge rifles is steel and plasteel. We have to have a lot of plasteel. I assume that charge rifles ran off of this stuff, and then I realized this was a separate thing, okay? You can't blame me. I read it very fast. So maybe charge rifles, charge shotguns, maybe they are viable. Here's the thing, though. I think we've got to worry about numbers, not necessarily the, 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 the special ones that can spawn in are still quite rare. It's going to be very expensive because these can cost a lot of advanced components, right? Then we give two of them the LMGs. Grill sticks to his flamethrower, and then maybe we just go for like a, like a charge shotgun as a bananas upgrade because bananas always had that shotgun it's kind of an iconic weapon for her, i think at this point that way we've got close range we can deal with the fast ones pretty easily with the shotgun we've got the sniper <laughs> hello there right yeah you see that's what we call total bullshit oh grill oh grill i'm sorry i i mean we can probably just save you immediately assuming they don't kidnap everyone and leave positions please people kidnap who they can and leave why would you do this? Yes! Turrets! 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 Nice! Oh my god, there might be a chance. Ruffle, what the fuck? Okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. We're okay. Turrets! Again, please. Come on. No, 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 no. They're actually gonna take Grill and they're gonna take Ruffle. Oh, well, that's some bullshit immediately, isn't it? Wow. Wow! What the fuck? I mean, I wanted a difficulty increase, but that was nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it too late to undo everything I've already done? This is where a lesser person might save scum. But we're not going to do that. People have just watched 
as the Hive have kidnapped two of our own immediately. But they know the Hive means business. Mariana knows what the Hive thinks, how the Hive acts. She was part of the Hive for years. They might not have had total control, but there were so many occasions where she could hear and, and, and think what they thought. Look at all the times there was a, a, an abandoned mushroom baby making her cry. Well, that's horrible. God damn, I was really not expecting that. Um, Ruffle was my bad. I didn't realize Ruffle was outside, but I don't think there was any saving. I don't think there was any saving Grill. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We can save them. I'm, I'm, I'm in awe. I'm in shock. Oh, Timon's going to be devastated because he just watched his wife get dragged off screaming by monsters. Kidnapped. They've been together for two years. I don't know what to say. I mean, that's not that's not necessarily because of the storyteller change. Timon. <gasps> what do you mean? When Timon's family member died, he's developed the chemical fascination trait. Oh my god. His wife was kidnapped. And now he's turned to drugs to try and to try and cover up the pain. Oh, Timon. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Oh, Timon. I mean, we know she's dead. Oh, Christ. Oh, God, it does say that she's died. No! That was so anticlimactic. Oh, God, Timon. Oh, sweet Timon. I'm so sorry. I mean, again, that was not, not really much to do with Igor Invader, right? That was just, uh, it was just a, a bunch of drop pods that fell in such a horrible location. Jesus. Oh, what a horrible way to find out you've enraged the hive mind. They meant business. Maybe they did this to send a message to Timon specifically. And Timon going around freeing all these ancient soldiers that have been fighting the mushrooms. How did they get back at him? They go for Ruffle. They would have known that Ruffle was his wife. Because when we bought back Mariana, we didn't cure her instantly. We had to bring her out of the coma, if you remember, before we were allowed to cure her. So maybe she was able to communicate in that brief window that Timon had a weakness. I'd say Timon is no longer inspired as well. Oh, God. Oh, everything is ruined. No. <laughs> no. Can we start a new series where Timon gets a farm? Timon gets a farm and a happy ending and a family. Oh, Christ. I'm so upset. God, I'm so upset because every time I open my mouth and I say, this isn't enough of a challenge, okay? We're too safe in this vault. A finger does curl on that damn monkey's paw. A monkey's run out of freaking fingers at this point. It's just such a perfect storm. It wasn't my fault. I refused to take... Okay, here's what we've got to do then. Uh, let's put down some more turrets. I mean, we've got those pulse charge munitions, right? We've almost got pulse charge defenses. I, I don't think we need the power armors. Although, look at some of this cataphrase stuff. That's got to be like the, yeah, prestige chitin frax armor. I find myself asking what is more immediately useful for a group of people about to fight. An unstoppable horde. Hold on. Skin hardening would help immensely. So the aggression spores and the infection itself, the xenotype infection that turns you into a mushroom, only work when it breaks the skin. Only works from cuts or bites, bruises, punches to the ribs, whatever else the mushrooms might do. Those aren't going to hurt you. It's only if they get through the skin. A higher sharp resistance lowers the chance of you ever being infected if they punch you. Or more specifically, the chance of it doing anything but a bruise if they bite you is, is, is much lower, right? Skin hardening might be the ultimate way to fight them. It's not super We're not going to replace every limb. We're not going to replace every component. We want them. It's all about preserving humanity, right? Turning them into horrible death machines is not the right way to go about it. Skin hardening, though, is the one way to stop them ever being affected again. I think Mariana would be the first in the queue for that. She knows the horrors. She heard the screaming in her brain, the, the crying uh, mushroom children babies. That alone is probably a set of back years. When this apocalypse is all said and done, she is going to need some serious, serious therapy. Pulse charge defenses, huh? It was a bit late for that, isn't it? Well, they took her. They took Timon's goddamn wife. Chef kind of knows what that's like, though, huh? Because they took Mariana. They took Mariana. Maybe this is the start of their friendship coming back. I think we've got to test this. Right, let's throw down a charge turret. Let's see... What sort of ammo consumption we're talking about before I throw down a bunch of them? If he uses Plasteel, that's going to be very, very hard to keep maintained. I think they use components? Just until Barrage Chart, 180. Maybe they do just use steel. It's just the consistent resources if we're trapped in the base that we're never going to be able to keep up with. Let's slap down a second one. Let's also see how they perform. 
What else do we want here? Uh, catapult, ballista. I feel like it's a bit unnecessary. Searchlights are definitely unnecessary here, given they just lower, um, they, they, uh, they lower, like, vision, which isn't going to work really too much on melee characters. Throw in an ammo crate. Those make the people within the radius fire faster, right? Proves the fire rate surrounding soldiers. Perfect. That sounds amazing. Get one of those. Anything that will help at this point, we've got to get. Barbed wire. Does inflict cuts and punctures on enemies. Interesting. So what if we were to do that? Either they crawl through the barbed wire, or they are all focused down the center line where we can shoot them much more effectively. Because the whole base is centralized and symmetrical, this will give optimal turret coverage as well. It's not perfect. I think this side is slightly shorter than this side just because of the shape of the mountain. But it's more or less true. This is a good investment of steel. Do these naturally decay over time? I don't think so. I think they fall apart when they deal X amount of damage to enemies, right? To show that they're, you know, they're being broken. Platforms give a significant weapon range increase, but receive a couple penalty due to being exposed. Well, that's not relevant because we're... Okay, it needs to, it needs to be diggable terrain. I think that's it. That's not relevant because we're playing melee characters. So what if we dig up the floor and turn that into a platform where they can see from a much... Like a step up. That should work. Depends if this is diggable, right? Um, ice. Is ice diggable? Uh, I mean, it is with a lot of effort. I'm not sure if this counts for this, though. It absolutely does. Oh, my God. Timon, it's big brain time. Timon, Timon's probably full of fury and hatred right now. Oh, my God. Can you blame him? Now, it would take them longer to climb up there, it did say. But if we do a comparison here, it would have been better to do a better comparison, you know, without the other one in place. Not that Timon needs a range increase, but that goes up to... Uh, those two, two stone chunks there. So if it, it, normally his weapon would re reach just past them. So if we get you to climb up. Holy shit. Wow. That's like, that's like what, a 10% range increase? That's like another eight blocks. God damn. God damn. Those are, those are cool. Humans in less cover, sure. Why do I give a shit? I mean, they're just, they're, 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 they're melee characters. They're going to try and rush us down. Oh, here's the other thing. A lot of people have asked what happened to Chef's ex-wife. You remember she dropped down in a transport pod up here a few days ago and I, I hauled her to the base? I guess she just walked off. I have a lot of notifications disabled, as you might have noticed. When raids turn up, stuff like that, we're not notified. It's to help with the tension, the danger of things. As a result, I think guests leaving, visitors leaving, are just gonna walk away silently if they do. Not to mention, Timon was out caravanning at the time, so chance I was looking at Timon and she just walked out. I mean, she didn't join us, so... There's only one other option, right? Maybe she walked outside and immediately got devoured. Maybe. I mean, chances are she just walked out and immediately left the map, right? What was that? What the hell was that? That sounded violent, whatever that is. Hello? How is there multiple attacking the same wall at the same time? How did you get past all that? Oh my god, they weren't finished! The walls weren't built! Well, there's no wonder they got through it so fast. Damn fog of war making me think I'm safer than I actually am. Oh, this feels so weird only having five people. Oh, it's so sad. How are they? Oh, that's definitely there, right? I'm not going mad. Just that many simultaneously attacking at once. God, that's loud. Unless they're attacking Simba. They're not attacking Simba. Big Brain Kai, I have a job for you, my friend. Come into the outer walls, start patching that up. We need some sort of, uh, we need some sort of, like, gate to be able to get out. Maybe this bit, where we've got, oh, they missed a bit there, too. Where we've got this wall between the, the, the garage and the outside, we just put down, like, eight auto doors. Because that'll be enough to slow them down enough for us to, to be able to react to, right? Is she going to be able to repair that fast and they can break it? No, but it will give us enough time to get the squad out there. You've got one, two, three, four, five turrets being able to cover you from here. We'll be fine. In fact, I think they're freezing to death while they're fighting. The health inspector. <laughs> so, right, I don't think this is part of your job. Go. Holy shit, that's a lot. Oh my god, that's a lot. Okay. Maybe we invest in that tank that I said we might not invest in. Because, holy shit, that's loads. There's no wonder there were so many attacking the wall at once. Okay, Kai's got it under control. Believe in Kai. Good luck, squad. Good luck, squad. Come up a second. You just dropped 20 medicine. What a gift. What a damn gift. Okay, start getting ready to head back. This is amazing because they've all got hypothermia. So we can outrun them no problem. We could probably outrun them whilst running and gunning. Don't let them flank you. I don't think they're quite that intelligent. Timon reached level 16 in shooting. Oh, Timon. Timon has an axe to grind. He's an angry man today. And I mean, can you blame him? Whoa. 
Holy shit, 15 and 20 there. So the, the mushrooms just have standard room or drop tables, right? As if you would fight any raiders, hence why they're dropping yayo and medicine. But they've also got that chance to drop uh, mushroom-lighted stuff as well. It's default room room with a little mushroomy extra. So all of this is just standard shit. It's just whatever they had on them, right? Before they were transformed horribly. These ones must have been doctors because they had 35 medicine on them there. Very sad. Very sad occasion. Hey, uh, this time, Tim, and when I tell you to build a wall, I want you to actually build the wall, fella. Let's do that. Let's, uh, yeah, let's actually go for that idea. This could be horrible. This could leave us with it's two components each. Oh, shit. We got 38. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Well, I mean, it's half our components, but I think it's, uh, it's a worthy cause. What did they smash there? So that's just an armored wall they've smashed. That's okay. That's probably why they were able to do so much damage. They were coming in from two angles. Because of the dead of winter and it's frozen, I, I think we allow uh, Timon at the very least unrestricted movement. And I mean, let's be honest, I can't control Timon right now. This man is he's on a mission. Maybe this is where we get a little division in the colony, right? Do we follow Chef Will's original dream of trying to cure the virus? Maybe eventually we get into the position where we can distribute it to our allies, give it out for free, taking refugees. If they're injured, we, we use the cure on them. If they're infected, we use the cure on them. Maybe Timon's not about that life. And maybe Mariana takes that personally, you know? They're, they're not in control of their actions. They don't know what they're doing. It's many layers deep. Timon's wife being kidnapped and subsequently dying is the coolest story element we could have had. But I feel terrible because it happened to Timon. <laughs> we have lost a key component of our colony. Ruffle had our top priority repairing. She was kind of that invisible force behind the colony that was doing a lot of good. When turrets were breaking down, when doors were breaking down, when vault walls, more importantly, were compromised... She was there patching it together. We just didn't really notice because it's such a minor job, like someone going around repairing stuff. We're going to miss it now that she's gone. Is there some big key thing that I've missed? Auto cannon turrets. Well, uranium slug launches, rocket swarm. Oh, I could fit one in like... Can't even really fit one in there because it blocks the par thing. Where the hell would I even put them if I could? Unless we put them out there like as freestanding pillboxes. Run a big power cable over to them. Put them behind embrasures and then barbed wire and ditches as we've done over here. That could be good. I mean, it's a massive resource thing because it wouldn't take too long for the for the mushrooms to get through and smash them. You will never get this. This is a reaction time of a pro Smash player. Second they landed, boom, get it paused. Hello. You will never get this. You were never harming another one of my people, I swear. Just a, just a random drop pod raid, huh? So they're probably all over the place. Timon did finish the armored walls. And he's got the doors built too, which is nice. But Anna, how's that wall coming along? It's almost done. It's only taking like three or four days, but we're almost there. And now they're going to punch the also doors. I thought this might happen. Is that is there realistically anything I can do about that? No. Uh, short of sending Mariana, Timon, and Will out there. No, I don't believe there is. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. They are... They might as well not even have been there. Ah, oh, shit. Um, I think that was a horrible idea. I think that was a terrible mistake. I think I've done a, a terrible thing, and I feel ashamed of myself. Please move. Uh, Timon, you might want to get out of the way of Simba. Move the truck, move the truck, move the truck. Will, get there. Timon, get there. Okay. Mariana, thank you. You can, you can get out now. Oh, Christ. Oh, I've made a horrible mistake. I think I might have just made this exceptionally vulnerable. How many are going to be there? How many are going to be there? Hello? Ah, oh, lots! Timon's broken down. Oh my god, Will got infected. Ch uh, Timon's probably panicking because he's having uh, a flashback to when his wife was kidnapped. Timon, hiding in room. Oh no, he can't handle it anymore. This door was the worst idea I've ever had, bar none. This was just like the stupidest shit I could have possibly done. You need, to, you need to get away from Will. You need to go and fuck off. Kai, well, Will's gonna, Will's gonna potentially smash Simba. Simba is getting annihilated. That doesn't seem good. Okay, well, it wasn't terrible. Mariana, rescue Will. Rescue Will. We have the medicine. We can save him. That's not a problem. That doesn't seem good. Is this truck lost? Move, move him away. Move him away. Move him away. Mariana, I don't know what the fuck you're doing there, fella. What is she doing? She's stuck. I, 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 like, actually can't move her. Thank you. My God. Oh, Timon has bottled it. Oh, Timon, my poor boy. Um, well, that was, um, a, a terrible idea. Just a really, really awful idea. There's been a change of plan. Never do that again. Kai, 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 get over here. Did we not pick up? Where did, where did you put Chef Will? You fucking fool. 
What's she doing? You've forgotten. You've forgotten what you're doing with him. I mean, I can't blame her too much. She did have mushroom brain for many, many years. Get him saved. Now, I, if I'm not mistaken, we picked up a stone skin gland. And I said we might not want to use it because it's too slow. But I mean... I mean, it gives him another 70% sharp armor. I'd like to see them infect him with that. Did he get truly infected? Did he get fully infected? He didn't. But they did rip a leg off, which is uh, horrible. Because now we can't give him the stone skin gland unless we've got a spare leg, which we don't. I, ca I can't give him a spare leg with that. It'll just make him too slow. Oh, I can't give him that and not the leg. Because it'll just make him far too slow. Sorry, Will. I'm sorry, Will. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't think they would be... Quite so quick to get through, what did I say? Like 10 auto doors? We, we might as well have just held those doors open for what good it did. That was pathetic. Out of curiosity, why the fuck are you using herbal medicine when we've got actual medicine? What do you, what do you, whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. What's fucking wrong with you? Jesus. Okay, okay, tend the aggression spores fast. Tend those aggression spores fast, please. Well, that's Will out of the picture for a couple of days. My God. <laughs> <laughs> she failed. She failed the surgery. Ah! Kai, you're killing me here. She all, well, speaking of killing me, she almost just killed Chef Will. Are you joking? All you had to do was neutralize the pool. I didn't even know that could fail. Oh, no, 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 no. Not like this. This isn't how we die. This isn't how we die. Do you understand how much blame I'll get for this? Thank you. Oh, okay. Timmons back. Timmons no longer hiding in his room. I, I mean, look. You've got to understand the humanity there. He sees them breaking through the walls again, and he's probably immediately just uh, flashing back to seeing his wife being dragged off. Can you blame the guy for wanting to run and hide? That's a very human reaction. You didn't have to steal Chef's lunch. That's <laughs> well, thank God I didn't waste uh, half our resources on those auto doors is all I'm going to say. Never mind. It's all right. Components just grow on trees. It's very easy to get them with default Rim Rim component crafting speeds. Oh! Oh, thank God! <laughs> Who? Who? Okay. Okay, we can all breathe somewhat easily. It this does not mean we can relax. Do not get complacent. Explore damaged ancient Devil Strand cotton farm. What? Whoa, what is that one? Hidden ancient hydroponic arm. Oh, cool. There's three mega sloths there. This one has Oh, this mod is cool. I thought it was just the farms, but it adds so much stuff. We've got ruins, which, uh, yeah, I've got some at home, too. We've got it here. Oh, are we capable of trusting Tim and to go out by himself to loot places? I can't send Tim and a banana anymore if there's only Will and Mariana here defending us. Then again, the only difference is Grill. Was Grill holding it down? I mean, they did. They did lots, though, right? Oh, yearning minus six. Oh, fuck. No, you can't say that. And what mod adds that? You're in a lot of trouble when I find you. What the hell do you mean? Shit. Oh, why do you make me feel guilty, Timon? I will wait for her to come home. But she never came home. Ruffles never coming home again. Okay, we could use Plasteel for this. Worst case scenario. I mean, what's the difference? Because we've, we've, we've got 900 Plasteel, right? And the Armored Wars aren't crazy expensive, but if the health point difference is 1,540, Jesus. Okay, so it's like significantly better. I think in the future, that might be what we swap to instead. Sorry, I got terrible hiccups because Timon just made me scream in anguish. Oh, are those weapons coming along, Kai? Apparently, we have made the charged shotgun. Oh, there it is. I didn't notice it because it looks... I mean, fancy. It looks very fancy. Don't get me wrong. What style is that that's making it rustic? It's a rustic charge shotgun. Of course it is. <laughs> the charge shotgun, very powerful. Again, it's intended at close range, right? And that's the big problem with it. Its range is shitty. But with this, we can cover half of the entrance. Over half the entrance. We'll slowly upgrade everybody to, to charge weaponry. But this is going to be, I think, quite an expensive affair. Let's make sure we're counting equipped so we don't accidentally double up. We've only got this many people capable of violent anyway. Got the space ammo queued up, and we've got that stacked in our little armory section. What we can do, now that we're becoming a bit more of a, uh, you know, like an official fighting force, a threat to the hive mind, so to speak. Now that, admittedly, accidentally, we've got involved in global affairs by Tim and building a private army, we should treat ourselves like that. We can, we can try and search for some very specific quests if we want to do things. This is actually super useful. Can I pick... There's pristine runes. Can I pick, like, uh, one of the... What are they called? Ancient Complex? 
Straight to arrive ransom demand. Ransom demand. <gasps> oh shit. Random mission. Pristine ruins. Bandit camp item stash. Blah 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 blah. Uh, refugees. That's cool. Then call us to other factions. What if we do that, will we get? Could we potentially be offered grill? Because that would be that would be that would be great. I I take grill back for sure. And kapow! Thank you. A rustic. Charge sniper rifle. Honestly, give it to Mariana. I, I think we keep Timon with the rifle because if he's going out, if he's hunting, we need something that he can more better run and gun with. Maybe today has been one disaster after another. Maybe poor Timon is never going to be the same again, but you know what I can do for them? I think we can finally take off the gas masks. Not only have some of them got detoxifier lungs now, but there's barely any pollution in the parts of the base that are relevant. Like, okay, sure, if you hang out in this particular area for a few hours, you might get a little bit sick. It's time, my friends. You're all free. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, in hindsight, maybe you put that gas mask back on there, banana. Oh god. Oh, it's hideous. I mean, they look awesome, but that's very scary. Well, this is it, isn't it? I, I mean, are we trading part of our humanity to stop them ever being infected? You could argue that. Bring your skin to stone to stop being infected in the first place. Oh, shit. Holy crap. You cannot. Oh my god, is Grill dead too? You've named this gun Grill's Murderer. An engraving on this weapon represents Jeff and Grill Veen sitting next to an ancient foosball table, tense with energy. In the distance, a district is visible. A gorilla fades into the distance. This, uh, uh, sorry, a gorilla fades in in the distance. This illustration relates to Grill playing games of ancient foosball. Are you trying to infer that Grill was murdered by a gorilla? Am I inferring that Grill was murdered by a gorilla? I, I think I am. Well, Timon, welcome to the future, my friend. You get yourself stocked up. Workshop is a lot more optimized, if I do say so myself. Okay, we're cracking stuff out significantly faster. People are getting armed better. Especially now that we've got less people, we've got to try and tidy up some of the inefficiencies. I think now that it's not eager invader, we don't have to be as careful. Might be worth Tim and popping out, seeing what we can do. Go to some of these ancient complexes, maybe find some more armor, especially for Mariana, because she's kind of a weak link in the chain right now. It is legendary recon gear, but it is still just recon gear. She needs a helmet. And, and honestly, same with Will. Doesn't matter how hard your skin is, huh? When your face is right there and they're going to chomp on it, it's a bit of a vulnerability. Solar flare. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. 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 This is all right. Just keep an eye out on things. Oh, good. Yeah, no, please. Please, by all means. Hello. A group from freed ancient soldiers are visiting the colony. They seem to have a few items to trade. My god. Timon, I think you should be the man of the hour to go and say hello. Where are they? <gasps> hello. Quinton. Allied trader of the freed ancient soldiers. Holy shit. Timon, my friend, what have you done? You've got us allies. You've got us allies, that's for sure. Allies who sell a tremendous amount of yayo. Hello there. Uh, I will take your ammo. No, I don't really need this. It's industrial. Maybe we could help you. Maybe you take some of this medicine and then our raiders aren't so vicious and frightening. Please. You know what? Gift mode. Give them some gifts, Timon. These are the people that you freed. You set them up. Let's send them on their way. Let's try and keep this alliance going, if you don't mind. 99 to 100 gave gift. Well, that is quite nice. Well done. Every action has a consequence here in Mushroom World. One moment the hive mind is enraged and your wife is being whipped off into the darkness never to be seen again. But maybe, just maybe, the, the, the dozens of people you freed from crypto sleep. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> you can't even let me do an outro. <laughs> Timon. Timon, my boy. He's got an orbital power beam target. That seems like a really horrible idea. Um, it's a solar flare. He's just going to get absolutely swarmed. Oh, Timon. Brave, brave Timon. Fight your way out by all means. Try and break your way free. I, uh, please, I encourage it. Holy shit, they're not getting through his armor, though. Bruises, 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 bruises. Rot stink exposure. They're not getting through the armor. Will! Oh, they're through! Oh, God. Shit. Aggression spores. Okay, we're fine, then. We're fine. No infections. If we, if we, if he gets infected and we have to cure him, three days without him and could be the difference between life and death. He's down, and then probably try and kidnap him. You fuckers! You will not take him, Tim and You will actually never get this. I don't think you understand. Make sure that the one kidnapping Tim and is, well, not preferably. Oh my god, the allies! The allies! Someone, someone else is shooting. You hear that? They're gonna smash Simba. 
They're going to smash Simba. And I don't think there's much I can do about it right now. Jeff will take out the one trying to kidnap Timon. Nice. Good work. Good work. Good work. Maybe come down. Maybe come down. See if we can see if we can poke our head out here and, and, and stop them before this. Oh. You motherfuckers. Boil and die. Boil and die. You were in the wrong neighborhood. How's Timon? Timon's actually okay. Uh, let's get Kaizy. I'll pop out quickly. Grab him. Quickly grab him and bring him home. No one else gets kidnapped today. Uh, well, uh, we've got half the truck, more or less. Wow. Oh my god, that is the worst thing you could have possibly done. You shitbags. Okay, okay, okay. Oh! How did he get infected in a bionic arm, though? I guess maybe it's where the arm connects to the shoulder. That's where the infection got in. Maybe the mushrooms just wrapped around the arm and spread up from it. Who knows? What I know is I can't afford to spend three days without Timon. Pull it off. Pull the arm off. Pull it off, Kai. Remove the part. Okay. We got the arm back. Did that stop the infection? It did stop the infection. That was big brain. That was big brain time. Then we'll quickly neutralize the aggression spores, and it's like nothing bad ever happened to Timon. I presume Timon's uh, super soldier buddies that he's got outside are going to tidy up the rest. Certainly sounds like they are. Thank you. 15 medical. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Put the arm back, and everything is as good as new. Holy shit. Bionics accidentally big brain time. I didn't expect that would happen. And it's like Lego. It's like building Lego. It's like building Lego. He's fine. Is he fine? You failed the surgery. He's not fine. In fact, you almost killed him again. You need to fuck off with that. You are too good a doctor to keep making these mistakes. This is too high-tech a hospital to you, for you to keep messing up. Okay, please put the arm back. Luckily, we've got a second one. Moron. They're only human. They're under a lot of stress, okay? I'm gonna, gonna let him off. Boom. That, that time, it, I think it worked. Okay. Okay. He's sedated for a couple of days. That's better than being in a coma for a couple of days and having to spend all the stuff on the cure. That's a bit more knowledge that we didn't previously have. Wow, this is insane. And all I've changed is a storyteller that isn't even active currently. What happened? Why is it suddenly so... So aggressive? We didn't even have time to caravan out once. Them drop potting in just like in the middle here. IEDs. <laughs> the whole point of explaining this out was so we had room though. To then fill it with IEDs, that seems a little bit backwards. I'm not sure. Do we even want to stay in the vault? I find myself asking. What else can the vault do for us at this point? We've got the bionics. We've got the cure. If we were to stock upon that and get out. I don't know. Head for the ship? Is there anything left for us on this planet? I had all these grand ideas. You know, we'll, we'll capture them. We'll, we'll cure them. We'll maybe install vanilla expanded outposts and start rebuilding civilization with the people running the outpost being the same people who were once infected and now now cured. Maybe we go around and we destroy the fungal the fungal hive. But now at this point, I just want a happy ending for these people. Or at least not such a sad, a, a slowly petering out, disappearing into nothingness type ending that poor sweet Ruffle and Grill got. Maybe this is where we pack our things and we get the hell out. We just get out. We get to the ship and we fly away. I never normally do that, but I, I just think... I just think these people deserve better. I'm open to suggestions. I'm open to suggestions. I'm open to feedback. I, I think my heart is set on getting them off this damn planet and getting them to freedom. This isn't Will's planet. This isn't Timon's planet. This, this is lost. This is a doomed world. This is a depressive doomed world. And they deserve better. I'm getting them out. God damn you, I'm getting you out. Thank you to Selfish, Ghost, Zona Schimmel, The White Fox God, Mr. Dranger, Brock McToast, Commissar Fox, Andrew Robichaud, Sunrunner37, Decathect, Ziggy, Adram, FairyWiz, Ethronal, Juicada, Zero, The Person, Bear King, Quiss, Copilot, Beta Soldier, Night Rouge, Ashen Jack, Ulcertine, Matthew Capon, Drew.com, Fizzlebun, Sajuk1986, Logan Bissett, Waffles and Whiskey, Alex Warren, and Cryoxis for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you for allowing Timon's wife to be kidnapped. Oh, Hold on a second. Thank you to Keller of Lawyers, Zen Master, Tim Hill, D's Nuts, Z Audio 951, Citatus Lingua, Ever Vigilant One, Koi, Red Racer B18, King of Outcastia, John Duckworth, Krieg, Blackpaw, Boa Boa Bones, Cindersind, and Blue J527. Goodbye.